Yeah, thank God. Give it up for your host, Henry Ketchikone. Oh, oh no, it's hilarious. It's amazing. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I've, um, the Repo Man is coming for my porta potty. I've been losing my shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what we're doing. Oh, here we go. I once dated the spokesperson for Saran Wrap. Talk about clingy. <laughs> Had to be cut loose from my last job because I'm a terrible escape artist. One guy, I appreciate you. Yeah, he gets me. We're going out for drinks after this, me and that guy. Wait, you man, we got it. I really did have to be uh, fired for being a police sketch artist, but that's their fault for not clarifying they didn't mean sketch comedy. Come on. I don't trust using step ladders. I think it's because I never knew who my real ladder was. <laughs> Had a golden retriever. I took him to play fetch, but after I threw the ball, he never came back. They don't just automatically know how to retrieve. Luckily, I went back to the pet store and got a new dog, a golden retriever retriever. <laughs> Sent him to get the other dog, you know? <laughs> I want to rob a ski lodge, because I feel like it'd be the perfect crime. You know, the police would show up afterwards and be like, give us a description of the criminal, what was he wearing? Uh, a ski mask? Damn it, that's everyone here! Don't tell me he used his getaway skis. Damn right I did. French fry my way down that hill. I've done the, you know, the pizza, and then you got them fast enough to... Uh, the graveyard shift is a bullshit term. Graveyards aren't open then either. Has anyone ever been to a funeral at 3.30 a.m., right? No. Doesn't happen. I think it should be called like the, the sex store shift, right? <laughs> so what's the other term for sex? Uh, adult stores. Adult stores? That, that phrase just confuses me because does anyone else feel like an adult when they go into that store? Like I don't, you know, I feel like a dirty, dirty gremlin. Whenever I hear the phrase adult store, I imagine like TurboTax and briefcases and metal watches that don't just like say the numbers on them, you know? It's like, no, pornography? All right, cool. That's what adults are up to. I'm about to put someone into a coma over here. I love it. I appreciate y'all. So, it's, it's flattering. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, I knocked over my lava lamp that broke, and now I just have an island in the middle of my apartment. Shit. <laughs> I want to get an ant eater as a pet, and then just never feed him ants. Watch him have an identity crisis. He's like, dude, it's in my name. You're getting gazpacho tonight. I'm very stupid, I'm very stupid. It's fine. That's that, no, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm really dumb, it's probably because I, I suffered a brain injury when I was a child. I was playing red light, green light. And after the caller called Red Light, I kept running, and another kid came out of nowhere and T-boned me. <laughs> Don't run red lights, that's very dangerous. <laughs> You're cracking me up over here, I love it, I love it, thank you. <laughs> I'm terrible with cars, I'm a bad man. You're really awful with cars. Anytime someone asks me like, what kind of vehicle I drive, I'm like, four-wheeler. That's what I got. The last time my car broke down, I just thought I wish it was a clown. Cause like when a clown's car breaks down, you know, it's like really tiny, so it's probably easy to push. And 53 other guys are there to help you out. Every time one of them takes a step, it sounds like a bike horn, you know, it turns into a pretty good day after all. Uh, once you go black, you never go back is also true about coloring with markers. <laughs> right? 
Hill and whoever sells the black market go over the yellow, that shit's never going back. A lot of fun. Uh, I don't like Papa John's pizza. Because whenever I, yeah, no, no worries, fair. It's probably because the flavor. But for me, it's because whenever I watch the commercials, I never see the guy with his kids, you know? You always catch him in the kitchen. But he's never, like, helping out with some math homework or throwing a football. It's like, better ingredients, better pizza. I think those kids need a better father figure, John. <laughs> I'll call you the Papa again when you've heard that title, but right now I'm not seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, like the massage chair, because the massage chair is like technically an electric chair, but just like his really chill cousin. He's like, I'll kill this guy by making him so comfortable he'll never want to get up. That's what I do. Black sheep and family. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I proposed to my girlfriend last year. When I did, no, oh, thank you, thank you. When I did, I told her I would give her everything. Um, and I proceeded to put a handful of seeds on top of her head. Because according to bagels, that's all everything is. <laughs> yeah, she didn't find that funny at all. She didn't find that funny. Um, I love my wife though. Uh, she told me before I was leaving here that I was dressed to the nines. Out of a hundred. <laughs> it's cool though, because she's taken up sewing recently and she lost her thimble, so she needed some help finding it. And I was like, finally, all my years of reading I Spy books have finally come in handy. I can find a thimble anywhere. <laughs> uh, my friend who was a mime, he uh, recently took his own life. Uh, it really left us all wondering why didn't he say anything? Uh, all right. Anyway. You guys are wonderful. Uh, maybe on this one. You guys didn't know Michael Jackson actually had preferred pronouns. They were he he. Alternatively, she Mona. My name's been Bradley Smith. Thank you guys very much. Give it up for your host, and we get you